Let's take a look at the sales contract basis adjustment feature that was added in 2023 R3. This feature works with sales contracts to allow you to detail exactly the adjustments that were used to arrive at your basis. Let's take a look at what we did. First of all, we go to commodity accounting, sales contracts, and we'll call up a sales contract that we've already done this for, and we'll do a live example here a little bit later. Here's a contract, a cash contract, to ADM for some uh, hard red spring wheat. You can see here that we have a delivery period of February and a board price of $7, a basis of $1.70. If we click on the price details, we can see that we arrived at, in this bottom tab, that we arrived at that $1.70 basis by using $1.50 for freight and a $0.20 cent margin. Let's see how we did that. First of all, we will take a look at the uh, setup for the item to enable this, these basis details. So we'll cancel here and go to Product Information Management, Release Products, and take a look at our hard red spring wheat. We can see in the new tab that was added, the there's some new fields that were added. First of all, um, the uh, use board price on contracts has to be set to yes, otherwise basis doesn't make much sense. So make sure that for that commodity that the board price on contracts is yes, and the use basis adjustments is set to no. And notice that if the board price is not set to yes, this one's grayed out because it's it's not used. So again, we'll set the board price and we will use the, the basis adjustment. So the scenario here will be a board price uh, plus basis will equal our net price. So let's see what the basis adjustments, how we set those up. So with that set to yes, we can go down to a new tab that was added called basis details. So these are the items, the details that will default for that item. And you can see in this example that we have freight and we have a margin and those were the two that we saw on the sales contract. The mark to market uh, tab are, are, are the items that by default will show up in the upper part of that basis detail screen uh, as, as the items that are priced. And let's just change this head factor detail to 1.0. And that is used when it's multiplying the uh, factor times the quantity, if you're doing cross-hedging and things like that of that nature. Okay, let's take a look uh, under the setup here. Now let's take a look at another example of basis contract the details, a much more maybe complicated example. So under accounting, uh, we're going to go to sales contracts. I found here one uh, to Hometown Bakery for pizza flour. We can click on that and take a look at one that we have already have set up. We can see there's a, a, a delivery period here for May. Um, the board price, this is a per hundred weight uh, board price at 69 uh, and a basis uh, here at 530. Let's take a look at the price details on this example. Here we're using two different commodities to come up with the, the price for the wheat component of the pizza flour. We have spring wheat and winter wheat. Um, the pricing, the factor adjustments, and the price per hundredweight here. Um, with the conversion factor, because you don't, um, with the conversion factor that you can have here is, I have it at 2.3, and with a board price and a 69.95 per hundredweight. Notice here though, these are the basis adjustments uh, that came in from the setup for that flower automatically. And we can adjust um, these, uh, these amounts as we see fit or the factor. The Notice that the adjustment amount is the amount times the factor uh, equals the adjustment amount. So if you're doing a per uh, bushel factor and you wanna put a, a per bushel charge or a per ton charge and you wanna convert that to the 100 weight, you can use that can do that via the factor. So again, these basis adjustment details can be uh, quite complicated if you'd like. Let's see how we set those up. So the first thing you do is you take a, uh, you take a look at the, there's a new setup screen for uh, basis details. It's under commodity accounting, setup, contracts, and basis details. 
And you can see here are the basis details that I have set up in the system. Let's add a new one, for example, that says handling. Handling, maybe we want to have a $5 handling fee. And so this charge code is used to be able to, um, when you post the invoice for this product that, that has these basis details, it will actually um, do a debit and a credit uh, based on this uh, charge code. So in this example, we're not going to use a charge code, but let's take a look at an example where we do. Say, for example, when you do a sales invoice for a, a wheat or a flour or any product, you want to have part of that sale journaled to a freight income. So maybe you have your own trucks or, or some other way you want that that freight to be not included in your sales. So here's an example of how we did that. We're gonna look down here at, uh, at the freight. And so to get to these charge codes, you go to accounts receivable, under setup, charges setup, charge codes. And you can see here's a list of charge codes that I have. If I want to set up a, a new one for, well, here's the one I have for freight, for example. Freight, we're doing a debit to the, uh, to the sales account for the commodity. And we're doing a debit, or credit, I'm sorry, uh, to the freight revenue. So basically, we're going to take it out of the sales account and put the dollar amount for the freight uh, into uh, a freight revenue account. So uh, these set, these can be set up again that uh, we have to do this. We have a debit account. It's a, le a ledger to ledger uh, charge code. So let's see how that actually works. So for example, if we do an invoice uh, under commodity accounting, outbound sales, invoicing, ship to not invoiced. And we see here that we have uh, some product that has been shipped um, out and ready to invoice. So we can click this uh, this one for ADM. We have some spring wheat in here and we're ready to invoice that. Mm -hmm. And we uh, select the uh, ticket that we'd like to invoice and produce an invoice uh, right here. So after this invoice is produced and created, we're going to take a look at that trial balance and see that it moved some of the revenue uh, from uh, the grain sales to uh, the freight income. So here's the invoice. It's for $8,800 uh, for the spring wheat. And now let's take a look at the trial balance under general ledger. Trial balance. We'll run the trial balance for just today. Calculate the balances, and we'll take a look down to the 4,000 accounts right here. And you can say that $1,500 of that of the, of the 15,000 for today, 15,000 of it was journaled uh, debit against the sales and credited into the freight revenue. So that rounds out the basis adjustment uh, feature. It works only on the sales side. It has a lot of nice features and be able to detail out what you can do, what you um, want to have in your basis. And it also allows you the ability uh, through this charge code to uh, adjust the journal entry for the, or move some of the journal entry from sales of the commodity product to the sales of the uh, charge code.